worst guest ever. Blonde Kamala is back on the James Show. Uh, welcome. Don't. I don't even want to hear that. Don't do the laugh. Don't do it. Don't. God. All right. So you have your first uh, planned rally with your vice president pick, but you haven't picked your vice president yet. So I'm assuming we're going to find out who your vice presidential nominee is going to be in the next 24 hours? Question mark. Right. Well, listen, here's the thing, James. First, it's it's so good to be back. I love that you asked the important questions because it's important to ask those types of questions. So thank you for asking, right? <laughs> so you're going to announce your VP pick in the next 24 hours? Listen, I will tell you when they tell me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're going to announce your vice president pick in the next 24 hours? Well, you know, if you say so, then that's what's happening, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look what I found over here uh, under the desk. Someone left a shotgun. Oh, that's better. <laughs> All right. Let, let's try another tact here. Uh, I think the front runner in speculation is that it's going to be Josh Shapiro. Would you like the, the governor of Pennsylvania, would you like to break the news here on WBAP of your vice presidential pick? Oh, James, listen, here's the thing. You know, a, a good friend of mine, real good friend of mine said to me one time, he said, listen, he said, don't worry about a thing. OK. And you know why? Because every little thing is going to be all right. So don't worry. OK, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so we have the president that uh, kind of did that toddler waddle thing to the Situation Room, and the, the, the reason given is there's expectation of an attack on Israel from Iran. Shouldn't you be in that meeting right now instead of talking to some goober on the radio in Dallas? Well, listen, um, this is the first I'm hearing of this. Nobody has communicated these things to me, and, you know, listen, heads are going to roll. Because, as you know, I am the nominee for the Democrat Party to be the president of the United States. And most importantly, what I want you to know as we lead into this first chapter of a new book, and that new book is called Kamala America. Okay, so get ready for it. <laughs> you are going to write that book, aren't you? Uh, okay, so listen, I... I I don't delight in asking you about this, but there is headlines about the, uh, uh, the the marital issues with your husband, maybe having a love child with like a, one of his daughter's teachers or something like that. Uh, any response to that? Is it true? Well, listen, here's the thing, and, and here's where our focus really should be on, okay? Our focus okay. should be on Donald Trump, right? We should be talking about all of the things that he has done. And we should not be pointing any fingers in any direction that would make uh, me <laughs> in any way. <laughs> it's totally different. Okay. Completely different. So, right. Totally different. Yeah. So are you going to announce your vice presidential pick in the next 24 hours? Well, you know what? Stay tuned. Right. Stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, that's a long one. Uh, how are the donors doing? Have they all come back to the Democrat Party? I remember a lot of people were withholding money uh, in order to sort of push Joe out. Now that you've been around for a couple weeks, is uh, is everything good with the donors? Everything is cheap keen right everything is pg keen everybody is on board and super supportive and they've done a wonderful job of choosing who the nominee will be uh for the entire democrat population um and you know it's going to be really wonderful and perfect thank you all right that's the blonde kamala we're gonna make her spin her chair around and come back as elsa kurt uh, so I've heard you've upped your game. You have now added the oh, bonus of a wig. Uh, I have. I have. It's uh, by popular request, thing. though. Listen, I saw that. I, I never brought it up, uh, but I saw that in your comments quite a bit. So you're just responding yeah. to public pressure is all this is. 
I am. And, you know, you can't, you know, the rule is you can't please everyone all of the time. You know, now I get comments like, just go back to being the blonde, Kamala. It's different. That's make, what makes it special. I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't I can't please everybody. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Right. Cause that's we'll the, go back and forth. That's the we'll catch-22. Because if you're wearing the wig, yeah. then you can't be the blonde Kamala anymore. Now you're exactly. the fake brunette Kamala. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, so it's ridiculous that this is real life. The things that I do, <laughs> that's all I can say. But look, it's a cool way to have fun with, you know, you're not doing stuff that other dumb YouTubers are doing, like jumping in a waiting pool of jello or something stupid. At least it's, it's intelligent exactly. conversation. Who do you yeah. think the vice presidential pick is going to be? Because I think aren't we expecting it in the next 24 hours? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, all signs seem to be pointing to uh, Shapiro. So I, I think that's going to be the most likely um, the most likely one. All so right. I'll Elsa Kurt. If it's not. Elsa Kurt, how do they find you outside of WBAP? Elsa Kurt official across social media and Elsa com is the website. You can go check it out and see what the heck I'm all about. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There she is. Elsa Kurt, the blonde Kamala.